Welcome back. So I put together a little video that I made tonight of my exciting news. And I just wanted to have a prelude into it and say hi. And if you have any other questions, you can go to my website, a girl, her dog, and RV.com. And there is my blog, as well as links to my YouTube channel and Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good social media stuff. But I think you'll enjoy the news and the excitement that I have. And maybe this will give you guys a few moments to consider your own situation and how your life is going and if you have your priorities straight. So enjoy this video. Please leave all your comments below. I look forward to reading them all and I try to reply to each and every one of them. In the meantime, don't press pause. Keep watching. I have some big news. I sort of already made the announcement on my blog at a girl, her dog, and RV.com. Uh, where I keep my blog updated weekly. Uh, so if you haven't had a chance to go by and see that, you might take a peek because that has a little bit more details than this video. But I just wanted to feel like I made the personal um, effort to let everybody know that I have sent in my resignation to my airlines and I will no longer have a job as of August 15th. Whew, it's actually kind of hard to say out loud. Um, I sent in my resignation in an email about a week ago, a little over a week ago, and no one's actually acknowledged it, so does that mean I've already resigned? Uh, I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm not too worried about it. I, um, I know I seem kind of happy and not worried, however, uh, you know, it's a scary thing to quit a job. It was a great job. I, I loved what I did, but I did not like the way that it uh, ruled my life. My, my schedule was absolutely horrible. I was working way too many hours. I was on salary and I didn't get overtime, so the amount of hours I was putting in was ridiculous. And um, my priorities were a little messed up. For example, I wasn't able to go and see my children. And uh, I live here in Florida and I have yet to like do any exciting things in Florida because all I was doing was working. Um, you know, working over 10 hours a day and uh, six days a week a lot of the time. And uh, one day off if I needed to take a couple of days so I could do some traveling, I just uh, took vacation. Or I tried to figure out uh, when the class was, when my class was ending and I'd try to group some days together. But those were far and few between, and so I just um, decided I'm gonna go for it. I truly believe that I am right where I'm supposed to be at this particular moment. So I feel good about the decision. Now, what do I plan on doing? I don't really have a job lined up. <laughs> and um, I guess I'm gonna try to work my wag with Rover business for a while. It's a pet sitting, house sitting, kind of do anything tutoring cleaning I guess uh, just to get started but um, a, a couple of things had fallen into place for example I was giving this job until October 1st hopefully some changes we have a new manager coming in and some changes were being made some little ones and I thought oh they're all gonna add up and it's gonna be so much better by October well that has been my deadline since pretty much last October when I was like, what is the deal? I cannot keep keep working these hours. It's killing me. And um, so anyway, October 1st was still in my head. Then all of a sudden, several things just popped up. Uh, I am a true believer in somebody's trying to tell me something or their signs. And it just was a sign that I was supposed to do it now rather than later. A few opportunities have come up. We'll see how those go. And uh, I have very supportive friends and family and I'm just gonna go for it. I mean, what's the worst case scenario? You know, I, I totally go broke and I have to go back to teaching. Ooh, and I love teaching, so it's okay. And if I'm back in Texas, salary isn't too bad. It's a little bit more than I was making here, so that's, you know, helpful. And I'll be in the state that I wanna be in, closer to my children. And that is probably my number one 
reason for leaving is I did not have enough time to spend with my priorities, which is my children. So right now I have one in Alaska, one in Montana, and one in Oklahoma. And um, I'm so excited about what this year has to bring and I'm looking forward to the traveling and the people I get to see and uh, hopefully I'll be able to eat along the way. Anyway, uh, just this was a quick video. I wanted to get that off my chest and share with everybody what's coming up. So stay tuned because I'm going to be sharing in the next few videos specifically what I'm doing uh, in the month of August to prepare for this move because that means that I'm actually going to use my RV and I'm going to travel in Sophie back to Texas. I have to figure out what I'm doing with my car and uh, that's probably my biggest worry. I've got to get metal dental and vision insurance. Um, I've got to close some different accounts here and I've got to open some wherever I end up. Uh, my first place that I'm going is I'll go back to Houston uh, that's where I have the feeling of home when I'm there so I'll get started in Houston and I'll be visiting my place in Rockport so that um, I can finish the the rebuild since Harvey and hopefully that's gonna take place really quickly that I can even get my stuff that I had packed last month into a pod into the condo not that I can live in it or rent it because every condo would be complete before we can actually move in. So, you know, it still might be, they said, December, maybe even January. Uh, and that'll be good because that'll help with one mortgage if I can get that back on the market. And, you know, in the past it's paid for itself. So hopefully it'll continue to pay the mortgage, the HOA and all the bills and the insurance that comes along with that. Um, some other little opportunities have come up in Rockport, so we'll take a look at those and I'll share those along the way as well. Well, I think I'm going to let you go. Riley and I are headed to bed. Oh, you haven't gotten to say hi to him. He's been a wild child, actually. He's gotten into a few things. I've had to take things from him my, into my speaker. Um, he was chewing on my hair clip. He was on a, chewing a book. Oh, he's into everything. So now he's exhausted himself and he was trying to sleep. I'll let him get back to sleep and that's where I'm headed as well. Okay, you guys have a good night. Stay tuned and uh, see what comes of all this excitement in my life. And uh, I'm looking forward to the journey and for you to come along and join me. Don't press pause. Keep watching. So last night I recorded what you just saw announcing my resignation from my current employer. I still feel good about my decision. And I just wanted to say thanks again for stopping by and helping me um, get this channel on the move. I have well over a hundred subscribers now. And if you didn't know, the more subscribers I have that actually watch the content uh, does benefit me. So I'm tr my goal is a thousand um, subscribers. So if you get a chance, please share this with others. And um, I appreciate the time of you doing that plus watching this video. Until next time, love, Lainey.